When given the opportunity, these kids are capable of so much. They aspire and dream big just like anyone else. And thanks to this Dare To program, kids from all over the state and beyond experience the game of football like never before. For a player, there's something about the game of football that's different than anything else in life. Maybe it's the way the grass feels under their feet, or the way the crowd cheers for a touchdown, or perhaps the way it feels to just hold that leather ball. Well, today, these kids got to experience the thrill of football for the first time in their life in a way they'll never forget. The idea is to create this once-in-a-lifetime football experience for kids with Down syndrome, and I'm just very honored and humbled and proud to be a part of it. Ed McCaffrey is no stranger to the football field, and with his help, a football camp designed specifically for kids with Down syndrome kicked off its very first year. It's just a dream come true for me because I have a seven-year-old with Down syndrome, and she's going to be in this, whether she plays football or cheerleading, I don't know. Uh, so it's a dream come true. It feels very gratifying to see everybody come out. And there are a lot of people who have sponsored it or who have volunteered, and Ed McCaffrey's just a dream to work with. You'll see how some of these kids out here today who had never met each other have embraced and become friends and will be cheering for each other. And that's really why we all started pl playing the game. And that's why this sport is for everybody. Ed McCaffrey's Dare to Play football camp is the first of its kind in Colorado. He, as well as other celebrity coaches and volunteers, came together to teach campers ages 10 to 25 the basics, camaraderie, and joy of football. The way that we set it up is that they each have a buddy so that they get one-on-one -on -one instruction and, and also just one-on-one -on -one partnership. So, you know how you're going to come up to line? Yeah. Just watch him. As soon as he gets the ball, chase him down. Okay. The Dare to Play football camp was a two-day event, and it wasn't just for football players. Aren't cheerleaders an important part of the game? Woo! Of course they are. And the players, <laughs> they agree. Um, I, I like seeing the, the cheerleaders. Like the yeah. So on Friday, the players learned their plays and the cheerleaders learned their cheers, all to prepare for their big moment on game day, a moment that was not only for them, but also for the proud moms and dads. Oh, this is great. You know, being around all the kids, for the, the Down syndrome community, this is just another great event to show the opportunities that these kids all have and how great it is that our kids are really more alike than different. The most rewarding part of being a parent or of coaching is to see a smile on your son or daughter's face. And the kids had a ton of fun today. They were tackling bags, catching footballs, throwing footballs. They were doing touchdown dances and celebrating. And, uh, you know, I saw a lot of smiles on the kids' faces, saw just as many on the coaches' faces, which is why we do it, and also saw a lot of proud, smiling parents. And so that, that's what we wanted to do is create a fun experience for these kids around the game of football so that everyone can, you know, take this memory with them. And these kids definitely made a lot of memories. Some include their first real dog pile. We got a little dog pile. It was supposed to be just touch football, but a little coaching helped them get back on track. No, don't tackle them, just touch them. Don't tackle them, okay? Okay. Or how about their very first touchdown? Now that's something they'll never forget. or for the cheerleaders as they performed their first halftime dance. Or maybe the best part of it all? Oh Celebrating at the end of the game. That is freezing. Oh man. I'm shivering now. The final score, 28 to 28. And no, this game wasn't really a tie. Because of this camp, this opportunity, each of these kids walked away feeling like a winner. Yeah. That's what we want. There are several Dare To programs associated with the Children's Hospital C Center for Down Syndrome. We will be highlighting one of the Dare to Dance programs coming up this fall. What a terrific yeah, story. Oh is. my gosh. And I understand <laughs> that that father and his yes. son came all the way from New Jersey for this camp. They did. They didn't really have anything like that close to where they were from. So they flew all the way out here and it was a two-day camp and they came all the way out 
here for it, and it was it was well worth it. You could just see the joy in the parents' faces, and and then the kids, and they're oh. just such loving kids, and they just want to be a part of something. And this Dare to program allows them to do that. I can't wait to see the story again. Yeah. Great job, Emily. Uh -huh.